What's up, you guys? It's Matt here. So I think we need to take some time to talk about Terra Luna. I really don't talk about many other things. I know there's a lot of topics that I do talk about, but I try to focus on Terra Luna um, or Lunic. Um, I talk about Shiba Inu. You know, I talk about some of the more uh, heavy positions that I hold and just giving them some light. Some of them aren't really known too well, and some of them are you know, known pretty well. Um, but we're here to talk about Lunic today. And uh, I've been getting some questions and some like concerning comments basically saying that, you know, we're seeing the amount of coins increase and that they always have the ability to mint more coins. So no matter how much we end up burning off, they can still mint more. <clears throat> well, let's have a conversation about that. And let's understand what this could be in the future when it comes to uh, Terra uh, Luna Classic and, and UST and everything else there. <clears throat> We're going to talk about that in this video. So before we get started, make sure you guys hit the like button, also hit the subscribe button, and hit the notification bell for more videos like this one. If you guys want to check out some of the links down below, definitely check out some of those links. It does help out the channel quite a bit. But Again, let's talk about Terra Luna. Let's dive into this. Let's look at how things are going today because things don't really look like they're going too well for the entire crypto market, but it's because of the 24 hour cutoff. I hate how coin market cap does that. I talk about this all the time and how things look like they're down a hell of a lot. They're only down because they were at their high point early this morning or they were at their high point um, late last night or something. So if it was nine o'clock last night to where it did hit a high and it's nine o'clock now, that's exactly why you're seeing it down by 6%, even though it kind of leveled out throughout the day and you know stayed higher than where it was um, from the starting point yesterday. <clears throat> so let's talk about this. So Terra Luna Classic is currently at 0 .000, um, 10 80 right it's um down about six percent you're seeing the volume that's down about 27 percent the market cap is about 700 uh million i was gonna say billion 700 million um dollars <clears throat> now that's at a higher point than where we've seen that before at the 680 670 million mark but it looks like it's down six percent so obviously people are looking at it and going wow this is down a hell of a lot why why are we even talking about this? Um, it's not really making any type of uh, positive moves. But this is the portion that we're focused on today, the circulating supply. Uh, 6.5 trillion in circulating supply, and then we have 6.9 trillion in total supply. There's still this freaking fly that, that comes out of nowhere whenever I start recording. Um, <clears throat> but um, we're at basically this uh, 6.9 trillion, and people will say, hey, no matter what, if we end up getting to a point where the 1.2% is implemented on chain, off chain, on exchanges, everywhere that it needs to be implemented to, they can still mint more coins. And that's not um, that's not 100% true, but it's also not 100% false. We know that the minting feature is still out there. However, the algorithm is not set to mint more coins. We know that they can still mint coins if they wanted to. <clears throat> but it would have to be, you know, approved through multi uh, multiple steps. Um, but right now, the algorithm is off. So thinking that it mints more coins to repeg UST, USTC is false. It's not doing that. It's not minting more coins in order to repeg USTC because that is completely off. And it wouldn't even make sense for them to do that because Terra uh, Luna Classics price is so low that it would not help uh, USTC in any way because all they would do is have that price increase and then they would end up selling the UST, USTC that they have, uh, gaining whatever profit they can gain. And then it, you would be in the same, um, the same spot trying to mint new coins for Terra Luna Classic. And that's exactly why we're at this spot where we are today with uh, about 7 trillion uh, coins there. So no, there's no more minting. Minting is not happening. If we're doing anything, we are burning. I've seen numbers to where they are decreasing. We're just not seeing it decrease by the billions. We're seeing it decrease by the hundreds of millions. And once we see uh, you know, multiple burn methods get implemented as well as the 1.2%, things will actually burn off pretty uh, at a pretty high rate. So um, with that being said, talking about the overall supply and talking about USTC, what's really the the future plan for uh, Terra Luna Classic and USTC? 
um, because that really brings to mind, like, are they going to actually repeg? Is it something that's in their mind when you do burn this down to 10 billion, are you going to repeg? Well, it's not to a point to where you're going to repeg it at that point. Because at that point, if you get to a $10 billion market cap that gives Terra Luna at a dollar point, that would make no sense for them to try and repeg at that point. If they are going to repeg, it would be at a point to where Terra Luna Classic gets to $30, $30 or $40 or $50, something high that can actually make up a huge difference of USTC. However, if they do that, they will also need to mint more coins and turn the minting feature uh, back on or the algorithm uh, back on. You already have the minting feature, but uh, the algorithm back on in order to mint for USTC. Um, now, do I think that that's going to happen? There's a possibility that could happen if this thing happens way too fast. There's definitely a possibility that could happen. Um, and they could possibly do it somewhere around the 10 billion uh, supply if they wanted to, um, if it all gets approved and everything, if they think that's a good idea. I don't think that's a good idea because it's not low enough of a market cap and high enough of a price to actually have an impact to USTC. Um, but really the mindset right now is around keeping USTC and Luna Classic as more of a stable coin or not a stable coin, a, a regular cryptocurrency look. Um, to where it's not something that keeps a stable price. It's something that really functions off the people that are investing into the position. And that's pretty much it. Now, again, down the road, this could be something to where if we have a thing like the lunatics token that burns off a little bit extra over the 10 billion that they do have there. And if it's something that contributes its volume towards burning and collecting uh, Luna for its investors, then it could be something that decreases the supply of Luna more or Lunic more and finds a way to get it down to below 1 billion. And if it gets below 1 billion, well, that's where you can now see a $40 price or $50 price or $60 price or whatever. But it's definitely going to take um, a lot of work, a lot of effort um, into doing something like that. And I think right now we're really in the beginning stages and it's not something we need to worry about as of today. Uh, so this supply here that we see, the 6.5, the 6.9, it, it's set in stone, right? The only thing that's happening is they are decreasing. And when this overall 6.906 um, you know, trillion, uh, starts to decrease. And we start to see that go to 6.905, 6.904. Um, we're going to know that things are really being burned off, but right now we don't really have a large method to burn things off yet. Things in testing, things in beta, but not really anything, um, that is completely live yet. So let me know what you think about this. Do you feel like they are going to find a way to repeg um, when they get to a point maybe at the 10 billion stage, do you think that they're going to uh, turn some sort of minting feature back on or put some proposal through to say to, to mint this much to save USTC? Let me know what you think about what their future mindset is. I know right now we're trying to predict exactly where the future will, will go because... I mean, we want to know what we're going to gain out of Terra Luna Classic. I want to know, you want to know, everybody wants to know uh, so that we can find a clear path so everybody can invest and drive the price up and get it to where we want it to get it to and be happy, you know, being financially free. That's what everybody wants. So anyways, guys, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Let me know what you think about this. Also, if you guys want to follow me on Twitter, at PerryAK, you can follow me over here. We're almost at 7,000 uh, followers, so if you guys want to continue to just hit that follow button, feel free to do that. It does help me out. Hopefully, we can get a check mark soon because there are too many accounts that are trying to be me, and uh, I, I want to make sure that we have a clear difference in the ones that are there because all they're doing is adding another R here, and then they're finding a way to scam people. So I will not message you first. Um, you know, and, um, I don't think you don't have the ability to message me. So that's something you need to factor into when somebody tries to follow you named Matthew Perry. But anyways, I'm going to get out of here and I'll catch you guys in the next video.